But the mechanics tell me, Pastor John, inside of my car's engine is a number of cylinders, little fires that goes off continually. And it's those little fires in my engine that pushes the wheels of the car forward. It's the same with your life. You will go nowhere without the fire of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire that pushes you. It's the fire. Say with me, fire gives me energy for the purpose of God. And when this fire comes upon you like it came upon Elijah, Elijah said to King Ahab, I feel the fire. My God, it's like Jeremiah said, it's fire burning in my bones. Elijah said to King Ahab, there is a sound. It is the sound of the abundance of rain. He said to King Ahab, get your horses in place. And he began to run. And the Bible says that Elijah outran the king's horses nearly 25 miles to Jezreel. This revival tribe is an Elijah generation. You're getting ready to outrun horses. You're getting ready to outrun your problem. You're getting ready to outrun your storm. You're getting ready to outrun the devil in this altar. Join hands, quick, join hands. Are you ready for the power of God? I feel a speed, dimension, anointing of acceleration. God is about to accelerate your future. He's about to accelerate your destiny. Accelerate your ministry. Accelerate your company. A spirit of acceleration pray. The devil had his plot and the devil had his plan. But tonight, it's been canceled. You will not die before your time. You will live. You will run the race. If you believe it, shout it. I want you to shout fire all over this place. Take hands quickly. Take hands quickly. Because when we shout fire, the fire of God is going to ignite and accelerate your destiny. Are you ready? What took other people years, you will accomplish in months. What took other people months, you will accomplish in weeks. What took other people weeks, you will accomplish in days. Keep on praying. Are you ready? Are you ready? The power of God is going to come upon you. One, two, three, fire! Fire! Take it, take it, take it, this fire! He's accelerating your destiny! He's accelerating your destiny! Take it, take it, take it, take it! in the youth get ready for God is about to take off all the limitation and there is a sound and when the sound is released the multitudes of fire Pastor John with your permission I want to pray for all the cell leaders because the Lord said to me a sound will come forth from the cells and like the book of Acts 
they will be accelerated growth a supernatural speed dimension anointing of growth will be released and the cells will explode oh the cell leaders quickly come my god i feel the anointing the spirit of a light lift your hands and pray lift your hands and pray i can be held tired in the natural pastor joy i can be tired in the natural but when the power of god comes upon me i am energized to run the race god is going to energize you supernaturally and you will raise up more leaders and you will take the city of Durban with the power of god you're gonna burn you're gonna burn with the fire you're gonna run lift your hands Get some of them on the stage. Power. Energy. Energy. My God, quickly, quickly over here. Inner energy. Power. Energy. 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 Run the race. 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 Run it. 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 Power of God. Pick up this man. My God, the power of God. Pray, 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 pray. of God in this place the Bible says God sits upon the circle of the earth and he rules with power and authority in his hand God is a ball of energy a ball of fire for our God is indeed a consuming fire. The fire is falling all over this place. Lift your hands and pray. You have to pull it. Like the people in the book of Acts. They waited 10 days. How about you wait a few more seconds for the power of God to be released. I wonder if there is a contending, tenacious, radical, revival tribe, Holy Ghost wreckage generation in this place that will push take it take it take some of you have lost your energy in life the storms of life came against you the trials of life came against you and siphoned the energy out of you God's putting the energy back in your business he's putting the energy how many of you say Holy Ghost increase the heat in this place increase the fire in this place lift your hands lift your hands power power I want 20 young people under the age of 30 down here quickly if you're under the age of 30 get down here quickly my god i feel it every revival in the bible was started with young people you are the little pieces of wood we need the older men of god like pastor john torrance that will sustain the fire. 
We need the older general, generals of God to sustain that fire in our lives. Are you ready to set your city on fire? I say, are you ready to set your city on fire? Now watch this. When I come to meetings like this, I push in the realm of the Spirit. The Bible says in Luke 16, 16, the gospel has been preached, but everyone is pressing into it. Would you lift your hands and press into it, press into it. I got a feeling here, I feel it, I feel it. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. This kid, get her on the stage quickly. Keep on praying, keep on praying. Is it okay with you, Pastor John, if you just go with the Holy Ghost? Something is happening right now in the spirit. Keep on praying, keep on praying, keep on praying. Lift your voice, come on, get hungry. Get hungry. Get desperate for the fire of God. Lift your hands, sweetie. Closer to the platform. I just need some space to go by. Take a second row. If we can bring some of the young people onto the stage over here, I want to pray for the young people. Is it okay? Don't despise the day of your youth. God can anoint you, God can take a call from off of the altar, and with that call, you will shake your schools. You will shake your calling. Lift your hands, young people. Lift your hands. Stretch your hands for the pray. Come on, pray. My God, I feel it. Are you ready, young people? Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Pray, pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray, 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 pray. Pray. Pray for the second row, then the first row. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Do you want to run with this fire? Do you want to shake your city?
Holy Ghost is falling in the room. Holy Ghost is falling in the room. Lift your hands. Come, come on, tell him, say, I want to be. I want to be. I want to be that revival tribe of God. I want to live beyond the natural. I want to move in miracle signs and wonders. I want to move in your presence and your power of God. Come on, cry out for the power of God. I feel the spirit of holy hunger. I feel the spirit of holy hunger. For those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Is there any hungry people hungry for the fire? Now lift your hands and lift your voice. The anointing. Just lift your hands and worship in the Holy Ghost for a few moments. Elisha caught the mantle, but he served that ministry. This revival tribe is not a lone ranger type of tribe. They understand apostolic order. Therefore, they submit under fathers. For 12 years, I had the privilege to serve under one of the greatest revivalists in this nation, Dr. Donnie Slubbard. But I served that mantle. I just wanted to do something that contributed to the mantle on his life. Not once did I look for the mic. In fact, the first time he gave me the mic, I pushed it away. Because I just wanted to serve the house. I just wanted to serve the mantle. I cleaned the toilets. I cleaned the church. Back the chairs right. I love catching people because there, there I got the anointing firsthand. But it's in those times that God was busy raising me up as I served that man of God. In this house, God has placed you under Pastor John Torrance and Pastor Joy Torrance. They are your apostolic father and mother. In the faith I want to close with this Genesis 22 and verse 1 now it came to pass after these things that God tested Abraham and said to him Abraham and he said here am I then he said take now your son your only son Isaac whom you love and go to the land of Moriah and offer him there as a burnt offering on one of the mountains of which I shall tell you 
So Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his donkey and took the two of his young men with him, Isaac his son, split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey, the lad, and I will go yonder and worship. And we will come back to you. So Abraham took the wood of the burnt offering, laid it on Isaac his son, and he took the fire in his hand, the knife, and the two of them went together. But Isaac spoke to Abraham, his father, and said, My father? And he said, Here am I, my son. Then he said, Look the fire and the wood. But where is the lamb for a burnt offering? And Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. So the two of them went together when they came to the place of which God had told him. And Abraham built an altar there and placed the wood in order. And he bound Isaac, his son, laid him on the altar upon the wood and Abram stretched out his hand and took the knife to slay his son there are four qualities I want to give to you of a real revival tribe son in the house that submits under his leadership Isaac submitted under his father Number one, write this down. A true son carries the load and the burden for the father. As sons and daughters of this house, you have the responsibility to carry the load of this house. The Bible says that his father Abraham had the fire and he had the knife, but Isaac had to carry the wood. We were all shouting about the fire a few minutes prior to this. But the Bible says a fire goes out because of a lack of wood. Lack of wood. Wood represent people. You have the responsibility as revival sons and daughters to bring in the harvest. Abraham didn't carry the wood. Isaac carried the wood. It's your responsibility to carry the load. Make sure your sows are growing. Make sure you bring people to the house of God. My uncle, Dr. Donnie Slubbert, got saved when an on fire old man put him in his boot because there was no space in the car and he drove him to a Pentecostal meeting he got out of the boot that night he got touched by the fire and the power of God and his life was never the same again somebody carried wood in their boot and God raised up a mighty man of God Isaac carried the wood Isaac carried the load the burden number two a true son goes together with his father in unity and agreement not once did Isaac disagree he went in unity with his father thirdly a true son trusts and believes that the father hears from heaven Isaac had the ability to quickly remove himself from off of the altar but he trusted his father I want you to know that you can trust this man of God You can trust this woman of God. Come on, somebody. Trust the vision. He had faith in his father. Number four, I'm closing. A true son lays his life down for the vision of the father. The father's vision is realized by the sacrificed lives of the sons in the house. Good sons become good fathers bad sons become bad and abusive fathers in the household of God we preach on this and we emphasize that Abraham's faith was tested but there is a deeper story I see Isaac's sonship was tested 
Why don't you lift your hands? Bring this young girl onto the stage quickly. Come here. Everybody stand upon your feet. I'm closing. Abraham had the fire and the knife. The fire represent the fire of the Holy Ghost. The knife represent the Word of God. The Word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. Bring it here. Sons and daughters, come here, sweetie. They're going to rise up in this place tonight and they're going to carry the wood. They're going to bring in the end time harvest. Mighty evangelists. Don't worry, sweetie. The power of God is on you. I just brought her up. Just lift your hands, sweetie. You see, if our young people don't encounter this fire that's burning in this house, they will be lost for all of eternity. Therefore, you have the responsibility of sons and daughters to bring the harvest. This goes life will never be the same again because of the power of God won't you lift both your hands say I am a son and a daughter in this house I will carry the load I will build this house we will advance the kingdom of God we will empty hell and populate heaven Somebody give Jesus good praise if you believe it in this place. Pick her up, pick her up. Well, what's happening to you, sweetie? I see angels and they're trying to tell me something I don't understand. She's seeing angels. Come on. You know what God said to me on the plane? He said to me, they will be turned around. Let the, let the people see the power of God on this kid. Come on, somebody. This is real. On the plane, God said to me, get ready, go prophesy over DCC. There will be supernatural, angelic visitation. Angels will appear on the scene. If you believe it, shout and give it praise. Praise the Lord. How many of you feel the presence of God in this place? Man, oh man, oh man. Thank you so much, Pastor J.P. Baker. We really enjoyed that word. Now tonight, listen, I know there's a holy atmosphere, a strong presence of the Lord. And I want us to bless this man of God. He's come, he travels extensively. He's got his church, but he's out all over the world ministering. And, he's, and his busy schedule has come to minister to us. And I don't know about you, but... We need it tonight.